Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful exponential math problem without any calculator and without any rough work? So how can we solve this problem? Here first of all we will change these two bases to its exponential form, having the least base, a prime number in the base. So therefore we can write these two bases as an exponential form. 9 can be written as 3 square or raised to power 8. Minus 8 can be written as an exponential form 2 cube or 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 6. Here in these two terms, in these two numbers, we will use an exponential identity and we will multiply the powers with each other. So here in both the places, we will use this one exponential identity. A raised to power m or raised to power n, which can also be written as a raised to power m times n. So using this identity, here we multiply the powers with each other. So this will become this will become 3 raised to power 2 times 8 is 16. So this 16 minus and this will become 2 raised to power 3 times 6 is 18. Look at two, both the bases. Both the bases are least number prime numbers. Now next we can write these two powers as 3 raised to power 16 can be written as 8 times 2 which is 16 minus 2 raised to power 18. 18 can be written as 9 times 2 which is 18. Now here in both the numbers again we will use this one exponential identity and we will change these two powers from this one form to this one form. So this number both the numbers in this term will become this will become 3 raised to power 8 or raised to power 2 minus this will become 2 raised to power 9 or raised to power 2. Now we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 9 and 3 raised to power 8. So therefore first we will find out the value of 2 raised to power 9. So what does 2 raised to power 9 means? This means we have to multiply this base 9 times. So multiplying to 9 times it is very simple. It gives him 512. So the value of 2 raised to power 9 it gives them 512. Now here we will try to find out the value of 3 to power 8. So therefore we can write 3 to power 8 as this can be written as 3 to power 8 is same as 4 plus 4. So here we will use an exponential identity and this will become 3 to power 4 times 3 to power 4. So 3 to the power of 4 is simple. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81 times 81. And we can write this second 81 as the sum of 80 plus 1. Then we can easily multiply this 81 with these two numbers. So here first we will multiply this with 80 and then with 1. So it is very simple. 81 times 0 is 0. 81 times 8 is 8 times 1 is 8. And at time at is 64. So this is 6 4 8 0 plus 81 times 1 is 81. Now let us add these two numbers. So 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 plus 8 is 16. So 6 1 will be carried to this digit. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 6. So the addition of these two numbers gives them 6 5 6 1. So therefore, the value of 3 to the power 8 is. 6561. Here we substitute the values of 2 raised to power 9 from here, which is 512, and the value of 3 raised to power 8 from here, which is 6561. So this number will become this will become the value of 3 raised to power 8 is 6561 whole square minus and the value of 2 raised to power 9 is 512 whole square. Look into both the numbers, both the numbers are in square form. This is square and this is also square. So here we will use an algebraic identity a square minus p square identity. So here we will use this one identity a square minus b square, which can also be written as a minus b times a plus b. So using this identity here, our a is this one number. 
and our b is 512 so this number will become this will become <laughs> 6 5 6 1 minus this number 512 times 6 5 6 1 plus 512 now let's subtract and add these two numbers so this will become here 1 minus 2 is not possible so we'll give 110 from here so it will become 11 11 minus 2 is simply 9 this will become 5 5 minus 1 is 4 and this will become 5 minus 5 is 0 and this is 6 so here the subtraction of these two numbers gives them 6049 times let us add these two numbers so 2 plus 1 is 3 1 plus 6 is 7 5 plus 5 is 10 0 1 we come here 6 plus 1 is 7 so here the addition of these two numbers gives them 7073 now here we will try to multiply these two numbers without using any calculator and without any rough work or standard multiplication. So how can we easily multiply these two numbers? So here we will change any one number from them to the place value and we multiply the second number with that one. So here we will change this number to the sum of place values of each digit here. So here the place value of 6 is 6000 plus the place value of 0 is 0. Now the place value of 4 is 40 plus the place value of 9 is simply 9 times this one number this will be the same 7073 here we can easily multiply this number with each number here so here first we multiply this number with 6000 so it is very simple this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 now this number times 6 is we have to multiply this number with 6 so we multiply this number with 6 6 times 3 is 18 so 8 1 will be carried 6 times 7 is 42 42 plus 1 is 43 so 3 4 will be carried 6 times 0 is 0 0 plus 4 is 4 and 6 times 7 is 42 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 42 million 438,000 plus we multiply this number with 40 so let's multiply this number with 40 so again this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 4 is now we multiply 4 with this number so 4 times 3 is 12 so this will become 2 1 will be carried 4 times 7 is 28 28 plus 1 is 29 so this will become 9 2 will be carried 4 times 0 is 0 0 plus 2 is 2 and 4 times 7 is 28 this will become 28. Now here the product of these two numbers gives him 282,920. Plus we multiply this number with 9. So let's multiply 9 with this number. 9 times 3 is 27. So this will become 7. 2 will be carried. 9 times 7 is 63. 63 plus 2 65. So 5, 6 is carried. 9 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. And 9 times 7 is 63. So this will become 3, 6. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 63,657. Now finally we will add these three numbers. So that will be our final answer. Now to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position. So let's start from the ones position. So 7 plus 0 plus 0 is simply 7. Now next is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 0 is again 7. And this is 6, so 6 plus 9 is 15, 15 plus 0 is 15, so 5, 1 will be carried to the next digit, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 8 is 14, so 4, 4, 1 will be carried to this one digit, now 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 plus 3 is 18, so 8, 1 will be carried to the next digit, next is 2, so 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, so this is 7, comma there are two digits 4 and 2 so here are the addition of these three numbers gives them 42 million 784,577 so finally 42 million 784,577 is our answer and value of This is beautiful and interesting exponential math problem.